Hi students, how are you? So we were uh, discussing about the separation of substances. And we study about hand picking, winnowing, sieving, sedimentation, decantation and filtration. So what is sedimentation? In last class we study about sedimentation and decantation. What is sedimentation? Ah, when the heavier components in a mixture settles after water is added to it. That process is called sedimentation. And what is decantation? Ah, when the water along with the dust is removed. That process is called decantation. And how we separate tea leaves from tea? Uh, we can use two processes. We can use either the process of decantation or we can use filtration. And which method of separating tea leaves from prepared tea is better? Decantation or filtration which is better? Uh, filtration is better. So how we conduct that process of filtration? Uh, we use a strainer and pour the tea through the strainer. And the tea leaves remain at the top of the strainer. And we get pure tea in the uh, glass that was kept at the bottom. Okay. So we get uh, tea by the process of filtration. So for separating a solid particle from a liquid. We can use the process of filtration. Okay. So to separate a solid particle from a liquid. We can use which method? Ah, we can use the method of filtration. So let us now consider the example of water that we use. So do all of us at all times get safe water to drink? Sometimes water supplied through the taps may be muddy. And the water collected from ponds or rivers may also may be uh, muddy. Especially after rains you can see muddy water. So how we can remove the mud and how we uh, can collect clear water. Ah, let us see if we can use some method of separation to remove these insoluble impurities like mud from water. For that we want to collect some muddy water some muddy water from a pond or a river. So here you can see some muddy water. Okay. Now uh, keep it for uh, one or two hours. So after one or two hours you can see the mud particles will settle down at the bottom. What do you call that process? Uh, the process of settling down the heavier particles in a mixture of water. That process is called uh, sedimentation. So after one or two hours you can see the mud will settle down at the bottom and that process is called sedimentation. And here you can see some amount of mud settled down at the bottom. Uh, I kept it only for 15 minutes. Within 15 minutes you can see some amount of mud settled down at the bottom. If you keep it for one or two hours, you can see some more mud will settle down at the bottom. Now, uh, you can see uh, the water at the top is somewhat clear. So, we can collect the water at the top. Okay, if you keep it for two or three hours, you will get a clear water. So this process of collecting the water at the top, what you call that process? That process is called decantation. So if the mud particles are very very small, even after decantation we can see some amount of mud will be present in this water. So after decantation again if there is any mud particles, we can filter it. And uh, for filtering the tea, we use a strainer. And what about this muddy water? Can we use a strainer? No, because the holes are little more bigger in size. So when we pour this, the mud particles will go down through the holes of the strainer. So for filtering this, we cannot use a strainer. So we can, we can use a piece of cloth. Here 
this uh, piece in, in a piece of cloth small holes or pores remain in between the woven threads these pores in a cloth can be used as a filter so i can filter this by using a piece of cloth because holes are very small but in a strainer uh, holes are little more bigger in size so we can use a piece of cloth for filtering this muddy water so i kept this cloth here and i poured the muddy water through this piece of cloth okay so what happens the some mud particles was there that is collected over the piece of cloth so the mud particles remain at the top of the cloth and clear water uh, go down through this piece of cloth so we get clear water in this glass also mud particles remain on the top of this cloth again sometimes uh, after filtering it through this piece of cloth also some uh, small particles of mud remain in this water so for that we can use a uh, paper called filter paper so if the water is still muddy impurities can be separated by a filter or filter paper that has very very small pores so a filter paper is one such filter that has very fine pores in it a filter paper uh, how we can use it we can, we, we, we can fold it in the form of a pot then keep it in a funnel so fold the filter paper in the form of a pot and keep it inside a funnel then you keep the funnel over the glass then pour your uh, liquid through the filter paper okay now filtration is over so we pour the mixture uh, through the filter paper so solid particles in the mixture do not pass through the filter paper and it remain on the filter so soil solid particles remain on the filter and we get clean water in our bowl also okay so this process is called filtration so filtration for filtration we can use a strainer or a piece of cloth or we can use a filter paper so the solid particles remain at the top of the strainer or piece of cloth or on the top of the filter paper so, so what is filtration ah it is the method of separating an insoluble component from a mixture of solid and a liquid or we can separate a solid component or an impurity from a liquid by the process of filtration for this we can use a strainer or we can if the particles are very very small we can use a piece of cloth and if again it is very very small we can use a filter paper also okay and what about the juices before drinking it uh, we usually filter the juice to remove the seeds and the solid particles in it by using a strainer so for uh, obtaining a juice also or preparing juice also we are using the process of filtration and again filtration is also used uh, when we are preparing paneer so how we prepare paneer any idea ah uh, you like it no uh, how we prepare it ah uh, add a few drops of lemon juice to milk when it boils and when the, we add uh, lemon juice to boiled milk Uh, when uh, milk is boiling what happened this gives a mixture of solid paneer when we add lemon juice milk will change into solid particles uh, that is paneer 
and uh, this will change into a mixture of solid particles paneer and a liquid and we want to separate the solid paneer from the liquid so the paneer is then separated by filtering the mixture through a fine cloth or a strainer okay so now you study how you can prepare paneer so you ask your mother and you prepare some paneer in your home by using milk and lemon juice don't do it yourself you ask the help of your mother also okay clear now uh, so what is filtration filtration is the process of separating solid particles from a liquid uh, we can use a strainer or a piece of cloth or a filter paper for separating the solid particles clear now okay bye